What's up everyone, it's Ad from Life of Adam. Today I'm back with a brand new lifeguarding video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the 300 yard swim and give some tips so you guys can pass. And I'm actually in the pool so I can demonstrate what I mean when I tell you about these techniques. And I guarantee you, if you follow all these steps and you do what I'm telling you in this video, you'll pass 100% of the time first try and you'll become a great lifeguard. So, I'm in the pool right now. Obviously this isn't like 25 yards or 50 yards, uh, but all the techniques and the skills I'm gonna teach apply to whenever or wherever you're taking this. So. I'm gonna start right here. This is the starting point. I'm gonna swim to the deep end right there, okay? We're gonna treat this like a lap. It used to be you have to do at least two strokes. So you have to do like, out of the 12 laps, if it's a 25 yard pool, or out of the six laps, let's say it's a 50 yard length, you have to do both breaststroke and front crawl for at least two laps. So you can do like 10 breaststroke, two front crawl, or you can do like six and six, wherever you wanna divide it up, but you had to incorporate both of them. Now you can do one or the other, which is a new change. So. I'm starting right here. Me personally, I'm more comfortable with breaststroke, but I'm gonna show you front crawl anyways, because it's important. It's all about technique, and it's all about getting constant flutter kicks, putting your arms through the water. And when I'm gonna swim over there, and I'm gonna show you a really important tip once I get to the first turn. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I'm at the wall. I don't have goggles on, a really good tip. You can bring goggles to help you see, so you don't have to get water in your eyes. When I get to the first turn, you don't have to do a flip turn. If you're in swim team and you're comfortable, yeah, you can do that. But there's no time, you don't really have to do that to keep up pace. So I'm gonna put an arm on here, I'm gonna put both my feet, and I'm gonna blast off, really exaggerate the glide for like as long as possible. Because if you do this on every turn, it's gonna reduce the swim by a really a significant amount which makes it a lot easier on you. Because if I just touch the wall and then start swimming again, you're completely getting rid of an advantage that you have, especially if you do it 12 laps and you keep turning. Six laps, not as many turns, but still good. So watch, I'm gonna push off, I'm gonna glide for as long as possible, and look how much ground I cover before I actually have to exert energy and swim again, so watch. I'm all the way here, which is basically like, I mean, with the space we're working with, basically like more than half the lap. It just still add up to about like a third of the lap. So basically you're cutting it down by 33%. So I'm gonna keep swimming over here. This isn't a wall, but you'll do the same thing. Hand up, feet up, push, glide. So now I'm gonna do breaststroke. I'm just gonna do a couple laps to show you guys what I'm talking about. So here we go. It's not actually a wall. You can also exaggerate it. Take a breather, don't hang out for too long. You can do like a one second, like, let me do the transition. Touch, breath, push. All right, so as you can see, I was doing breaststroke. I'm a little bit more comfortable with that, but also it helps you do long distances because it doesn't exert yourself as much. So do whatever stroke you're comfortable with. Comment down if you have any questions um, in terms of technique or strategy. Really abuse the push off, it'll cover a lot of ground for you. Also bring goggles. Also don't touch the sidewalls. Don't touch the bottom of the pool. Make sure you don't compare yourself to others because there's gonna be some like Michael Phelps dude next to you. And if you try to keep up with him, you're gonna be out of breath and you're gonna be like, dang, like, I still have to do eight laps. So, if you follow these tips, guarantee you'll pass. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much. Peace.